Hello everybody, welcome to my new video. This time it will be only just quick tip how to achieve this kind of disintegration effect in Blender, particularly in cycles just by using some material nodes, but I believe it's achievable in any kind of renderer. Uh, actually I kind of stole it from a tutorial for Houdini 3D which make it uh, similar or nearly same same way so it should work uh, even in other programs not only in blender so here you can see uh, just new scene I will reorganize the windows so uh, I will have 3d view here like preview and here the beloved node editor so we can make the material uh, we will test it on the polysphere or any kind of sphere. I just like this one because of the topology and subdivision surface. So it's actually believable sphere. Well, it's everything about scene setup and uh, just set the render to cycles render and shading to rendered okay and for some better result in word setting I will set use nodes and use uh, no use sky texture with strength of at least 2.2 and don't raise visibility not in camera so we will see just the sphere Okay, it's all we need to see our result and let's get to the node editor and we will start to make new material by clicking new here and it will just make material output which is necessary and diffuse shader just basic one and for better visualization of colors of what happening here and get rid of weird shading I will just use uh, emission shader as viewer pretty much and now we can make our texture it will be very easy because we will use just where it is noise texture and use it as, as it is no changing you can tweak all this value as you want but we will use just this factor value see how it looks like and it pretty much uh, works with this sphere if you have uh, bigger objects, smaller objects, rear object, you can adjust the scale but I am pretty happy with 5 so I will leave it right here and I need animate uh, uh, base, uh, based on this texture to change the color from black to white and for this I will use a converter color ramp a color ramp is not exactly buggy in blender but if you use a lot of them in your uh, node 3 it uh, kind of lead to crashes so be aware and every time you change something in color ramp uh, save your blend and it sh should be safe for you well and without uh, wasting the time we need completely black in the beginning so I will move the black slider like point 0.8 okay it's completely black and I will animate this value so hover my mouse over the position value hit I and it will put keyframe on it and same for the uh, second uh, handle whatever and then uh, change the time on the uh, time line well for example 160 could be nice and in this frame I want exact opposite 
so I will move the black completely to left I on the position and this adjust so the sphere is completely white well point two should work at least when I last tried it worked and put a keyframe on it now when I'm sliding the timeline I should see it's already kind of effect that we want but this sphere actually uh, doesn't disappear it change from white to black uh, it's just coincident that the background is black also so this is not missing part of the sphere it's just black part of the sphere and we will change that as well and we will use the diffuse for some basic material of the sphere like beginning material and new shader uh, transparent don't change anything it would mean uh, completely transparent so disappearing no reflections no refractions of light nothing just not visible and mix shader of course and we will mix the diffuse shader with the transparent one and use this texture what we have the animated one and what is black will be uh, diffuse what is white will be transparent so put it to the factor now when I saw what will become from this mix shader now the sphere is actually kind of blue bluish and the parts that are black now are actually transparent so are actually missing from the sphere so it starts to disappearing but we want kind of effect on the rim where it's disappearing so we won't find our rim we will use this texture again and another color ramp and for this one no animation just put these handles nearly the end and both set to completely black uh, sorry black then at third handle right in the middle and set it to wind Tada! it should actually make rim and well you can adjust these values you can see what it's happening and I will use this for the effect so I will use this emission but for example red so we will see where exactly this effect is applied and again I will mix this uh, according to this so I want where is white it will be red so this mix shader actu actually works that where is white there is the bottom one where is black there is the uh, top one and as the top I want what we already had and use our map or the rim texture for the factor and voila it's done it's everything you can adjust whatever you want colors effects uh, make some particle systems from it so make it more interesting and if you hit render on this I have just uh, about 16 samples but it will look like this I hope you enjoyed it you find it at least interesting or helpful in some ways I thank you very much for watching this video and till the next time bye